Young boy, young boy. It's your boy J L I. Pass me the wrist, la baby, make me feel alright. Me feel alright. Put on that ruler while we turning out tonight. Yeah, yeah. Blazing, blazing, blaze, blaze, blazing, blazing. Yeah. Blazing, blazing, chicks all around me, all around me, so around me. Right. Think at the city on the lockdown. Lockdown. I was in the party, I leg it, them know we shut it down. It's hot in here with all these lights. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abby and I'm here to talk about mistakes people make when getting sister locks. Um, there's a lot of pitfalls that people fall into when getting sister locks and I just want to highlight them so that you don't make that mistake. Avoid not knowing enough information. Um, information is power. If you don't know enough about Sister Locks, do your research. Go on the internet and look up um, certain things about it, such as you know, you know, where to get it done, the right getting the right consultant, um, you know, healthy Sister Lock practices with doing your hair and everything. You have to be really knowledgeable about the style so that you don't end up, you know, regretting it because you didn't take the right steps. The second thing to avoid is avoid picking the wrong consultant. Avoid picking the wrong consultant. A lot of people, well not a lot of, but I don't know. Me personally, I know someone that ended up picking the wrong consultant and she did not end up with sister locks. I mean, she kept this, what she um, had, which are, which is, would be um, interlocks and, um, interlock locks and she decided to keep it but if you want sister locks make sure you get a consultant that does sister locks there's gonna be a lot there's a lot of consultants out there that are gonna advertise sister locks and not give you sister locks so you have to be really careful about that you want to make sure that they are credible you want to make sure that um you know that you look on the sister lock website and you see if that that they're on it that they're certified and if they're not certified make sure that you see their por portfolio and that you see their work and make sure that you are getting what you're paying for Make sh and also do not stick to more, um to a consultant due to obligation. Don't feel like you're obligated to stick to a consultant, especially if they're not in tune with how you want your hair to be, and they're not doing doing the right you know have the right practices with your hair, and you know you're having problems with them. Don't feel obligated, um you know don't feel obligated to stick to one person. Make sure that you know you're doing the best for you and your hair. The second thing to avoid is avoid not being vocal. You know, if you're not vocalizing what's going on, issues that you're having with your hair with your consultant, don't be upset if they're not, you know, if they're not in tune with it because they don't know. If you're having issues um, with their consultant, how they're doing your hair, please be vocal. Let them know. Um, I've, the people that I've encountered have been very open and very understanding and very, you know, un you know, they understand you know, that you want your hair how you want it and they're not gonna like, you know, chastise you for not, for saying something. So be vocal, express that if you're having problems or with your hair, express it. If you're having issues with the way, you know, they're retying your hair, express it. You have, be vocal. Remember, it's your hair, it's your money. You want to make sure that you're getting, you know, the best that you can get. Um, another thing to avoid is avoid waiting too long to retighten your hair. Avoid waiting too long. Waiting too long to retighten your hair can end up, can um, result in you losing your locks, you getting locks to, that's going to start thinning. Um, and you don't want that. You want your hair to be full. You want your hair to, you know, be nice and, you know, good and intact. So you want to avoid waiting too long. You don't want to lose any locks. And speak with your uh, consultant. They'll tell you how fast your hair is growing and how, and they'll recommend how often you should be retightening your hair. Don't skip appointments and don't wait too long. Okay, guys? <laughs> okay, so the next thing to avoid is avoid um, continued use of conditioners and heavy creams and oils and stuff, and some oils. Um, when you first get your sister locks, they're not locked yet. You know, you, you have to let them, you know, really, you know, mat and lock. If you're not putting heavy creams and oils in your hair, it's going to take forever for it to lock. And you don't want that. You want your hair to be, you know, nice and, you know, and, you know, over time get locked. 
Um, you don't want to put heavy creams. You don't want to put, you know, drench your head with whole oil and conditioners. You, you know, you, a lot of consultants say it's for you to avoid oils and conditioners and leave-in conditioners and all that stuff when you first get it. And I kind of would agree with them. You know, some people choose to use light oils in their hair, but you have to use that sparingly. When you first get your lots, just avoid those things. I think that'd be the best, the best practice. Um, the next thing to avoid is avoid not exploring other cost-effective options. Avoid not exploring other cost-effective options because this a lot is expensive. Let's just say it. I know I've said it before, but it is expensive. Sister Lux is expensive, and not everybody can afford it. And that's because you can't afford Sister Lux doesn't mean you can't afford something that's similar, like interlocks or braid locks. There's other forms of, you know, of of this kind of style that you can get. So don't get discouraged just because you don't have the economical means to maintain Sister Lux or even get it installed. There are alternatives. And if, you know, you're okay, some people want it, like me, I want it Sister Lux. I said, I don't care, I'm gonna say whatever the case may be. Some people don't have the option or don't have the luxury to be able to save for it. And, you know, because, you know, the economy is tight. So if you are, you know, you really want the style, you want the aesthetic look, you know, of Sister Locks, there are alternatives that you can get. And the last thing to avoid is avoid sacrificing quality for money. And I know this is kind of probably going to go against what I just talked about, about, you know, <laughs> finding alternatives. But if you want Sister Locks, if you've already made it in your mind that yes, that's what I'm getting, I'm getting Sister Locks, I don't want braid locks, I don't want interlock, I want Sister Locks, then you want to make sure that you're going to invest your money, you know, and do it right. Do it, Make sure that you're not saying, okay, I want sister locks, but I'm going to get it from this person that I don't know if they can do this lock, but she says she can do it. But I've never seen her portfolio. I've never, I don't see her on the website and she's doing it for half the price. So I'm just going to go with her. You have to be really, really smart about it because, because remember, um, just because you get what you pay for. You know, if you're going to pay half the price, you may get half the quality of it or half the, you know what I mean? Like, be very careful because I know um, people that are like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get it for half the price, but the person did a very bad job on their hair. So you have to be really careful and know what you're doing. I think the number one thing I want you to, to do is just do your research. Do your research. Watch YouTube videos, Google Search and do a lot of research. Call consultants, shop around, um, you know, see people's portfolios. Don't feel obligated to stick to somebody, especially if they're if they're not dealing with your hair the way you want it to be dealt with. And be extremely vocal. You make sure you're vocal. It's your hair, it's your money. Sister Lives is expensive. So if you're investing all that money in your in your own hair, make sure that you're investing it correctly. Um, you know, you're not gonna put your investment in something that you know that's gonna, you know, gonna fail, you're gonna put it in something that you know is gonna succeed. So make sure that you're doing the best that you can with your practices and, you know, make sure that you're washing your hair properly and listen to your consultant. They're there as a guide. They're gonna let you know what you need to do and the best, the best practices for your hair. Thank you guys for watching. I am so excited to be back on YouTube. Thank you all my subscribers I'm getting so many new subscribers I'm so excited you guys are awesome you guys are commenting and I'm loving it you guys are you know I'm just so excited I'm so happy to be on this platform and really just sharing my love for sister locks and getting people who are wavering and not sure whether to get it to show them that you know it is a style and that is you know beautiful and I love it and I just want to share it with the world thank you for watching this video thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned. I'm going to try to make a video every week, a video every week, and when I get into the, you know, the swing of things, I'm going to try to make a video, two videos every week. Um, thank you for watching. Peace. Stay blessed. Mm -hmm.